Much games. <laughs> Sweet as snail eyeballs! Newlywed fever continued to rise in the swamp, and dear Fiona couldn't be happier. Her parents invited her and Shrek to far, far away so they could meet the handsome man she married. While packing for their long journey, Shrek realized he still needed some essentials for the trip. Look, I don't want to be late. Then I need help collecting eyeballs. It'll be a long journey, and nobody wants to see me hungry. Why don't we just get some parfaits? You know, ones with whipped cream. Oh, I love whipped cream. Ogres eat nature, not parfaits. Be sure to collect all of the eyeballs for snacks on your trip. Over here! Help! Another adventure! We stink! Or is that just me? Please help! By the gods! My brothers and I can't thank you enough! Oh, Mary Man! Ogre power! This potion makes your team invulnerable for a limited time. Are you done yet? Someone help! 
hanging out can be fun, but that was ridiculous. Thank you. You know, in Spanish, a donkey is called a burro. I guess that means a little donkey is a burrito. was a motley crew who asked if I would let them through. I'll open the gate for you and your mates if you will bring me fairies. It's Fiona time! You hit like a pixie. Ha, ah, thanks for helping out your wee fellow man. Fiona, I didn't know you had it in you! Sweet as snail eyeballs! These are cookies that Gingerbread Man can throw to a trap. Ogre power! Oh, golly, what can I say? You folks rock! Or broke one, anyway. <laughs> I want to move to an island and be a surfer or something. Shrek? I don't know, but there's chickens all over the place. Oh! This is my home, not a petting zoo. I'll call you Petty. Name's Lil Red. I promised my grandmother I'd get some chickens for her to make soup. Will you help me? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
job, guys. I'll be along to meet you at Grandma's house in a sec. Right, I'm dangerous and cute. Potion increases your team's attack power for a limited time. At the right... a rescue, my six brothers and I are eternally grateful. It's me! I got the chickens for the soup! And I had help from my four new friends. Splendid! Now, if your friends will fetch me some blackbirds, I'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted! Shrek's starving for some great pie, and an old shut-in wants to make it for him. But who will be able to bring home the blackbird? Fiona doll, it's your hero time! Hero, hero time! time.
It's been fun, guys, but I have a blind date. She might be my sugar cookie. Got room in the carriage? I've got a game to pitch in Far, Far Away. And so, they came upon a dark, creepy forest. And as if that weren't reason enough to turn back, an evil witch flew above them. Seeing the carriage horses were enchanted, the wicked witch turned them back into mice, for witches need mice for their witchery. The wicked witch then left a trail of cheese, so the mice would be led to her doorstep and into her boiling pot, because she is really wicked. I could tell you some stories. <laughs> we have been rudely turned back into mice. Yes, I can see that. No, you can't. By Jove, that smells like cheese. Great. Now we need another potion to turn them back. We'll never make it there. Relax. The Wicked Witch's place is that way. Excuse me. Wicked Witches, spooky trees, crazy mice on a lactose binge. We are doomed. Shut it, donkey. Now, how's this gate open? <laughs> I can tell you put down roots here, the forest. but if you could scooch to the side... West Donkey! All oh, right! My burrow blast!
better be faster. Lock, baby. Ready or not, here I come. Welcome to Crazy Larry's Leprechaun Shop. One stop shopping for all your magical needs. I'm open 24. I think I'll go this way. You don't have to go back to your castle, but you can't stay here. Your kind ain't welcome round here. And what are you going to do about it, Tin Man? My name is not punching! Now I'm really mad! I think I get your point. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Literally. There once was wee little man, who held out his wee little hand. Fill it with gold or I'll... Oh, look! Will you pay me gold or not? the road rise to meet you and smack you right in the kisser. What's that? Hold me, I'm frightened. You watch it! There's more where that came from.
press the spec. Everyone, I got to watch where I'm going. <laughs> I'll stop you like haggis. Shrek, come here. How did that get up here? Dragon and I flew it here. My fire-breathing beauty. <laughs> the mice will be mine. Don't worry, we'll save Fiona. Surfer or something. So a nervous Shrek waited to meet Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian. Hoping to impress them, Shrek even remembered to trim his nose hairs. After that minor stumble, the king and queen got along famously with Shrek, welcoming him with the tolerance, love, and affection usually reserved for pop stars and heads of state. You're not. King Harold made it clear he wanted Fiona to marry Prince Charming and wasn't so fond of his fat, disgusting, nose-picking son-in-law. Shrek made it clear he loved Fiona and no pompous king was going to blatantly mock his ogre girth. Fiona and Queen Lillian were eventually able to break up the fight. The king was approached by Fairy Godmother, who was a powerful provider of happily ever afters, 
and a lot of people owed her favors. She makes offers you can't refuse and can make people disappear, literally. You understand where I'm going with this, right? Because she could leave me sleeping with the fishes if I said too much, and mirrors and fish don't mix. <laughs> Trust me. In the morning, tempers appeared to have cooled, and King Harold offered to show our group around far, far away. Welcome to Far, Far Away! Fabulous shopping, great view, beautiful people! Why don't you make yourselves useful and be my deputies? Deputy Shrek, at your service. Where you see this symbol, I need your help. There's been a foul catastrophe! The Friar's Fat Boy truck has overturned! We need to round up the chickens. Come on, they're even more cowardly than you! How brave of you to accept this grave chicken challenge! is not a kettle drum!
mood. There are delinquent hooligans fighting in the streets like filthy ogres. I mean, beasts! Go arrest them now and throw them in the paddy wagon! Excellent! You take orders well! Hero time! I'm a green, mean fighting machine! machine! <laughs> After the family jewels, can you collect the jewels before the nasty troll gets away? You should have no problem. I understand trolls and ogres are distant cousins.
in Hero time! There's been a horrible explosion! Humpty has broken up and all the king's horses and all the king's men have struck out! Maybe your big ogre thumbs can help find the missing shells? Watch the peasants! They are feisty! Great! Got any crazy glue? Piper is here. He's gone piping mad. Will you get rid of him and all his disgusting vermin? 
ratical, ratastic, ratatouille! Cinderella's come a long way from her house cleaning days. She no longer does windows. She only shops through them. But this neighborhood is full of muggers. Will you protect her while she looks for a pair of glass slippers to go with her new fall look? Shop! Make sure she doesn't drop. Blended! Oh, and Shrek, pick yourself up some deodorant. That coat says, see? 
La 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 la. How's that hoof taste? Nice colors. Matches my dress. Ogre smash! Right, I'm dangerous and cute. That shirt is so not me. That shirt is so not me. That shirt is. I date dragons, you know. I wonder if it's on sale. Like, I would rather die than wear. Princess's work is never done. You're lucky, chicks take scars. Yeah, spin the tail on your face. I wonder if it's on sale. I'm like, I'd rather die than wear that. I've been looking for that blasted up. I'm like, I'd rather die than wear that. That one. Oh, stuff me like haggis. Ooh, you like that one. Feel the burn. Ouch. Get the tail on you. That's you mess with me, you mess with my husband. That code says... <gasps> that code says Cindy... Like... Oh, stop you like haggis! <gasps> that code... Oh my god! I'm bigger than you! Other slipper. I've been looking for that glass and other slipper. I wonder if it's on sale. That would look nice on you. I'm a green mean fighting machine. I wonder if it's on sale. I'm a green mean fighting machine. Nice colors. Matches my dress. Where's my health coach? Colors matches my dress. Rumble with the red. Oh, Cindy like that one. La la la. Well, you don't have it bad enough. I've been looking for that blasted other Cindy like that one. No way. I'll give you a royal beat down. There's no way blondes have no fun. This is more fun than eight years. That shirt is so not nice. Victory is my destiny. I wonder if it's on sale. That code says Cindy. That code says Cindy. La 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 la. That code says Cindy. I wonder if it's on sale. Oh, Ooh, Cindy like that one. I'm like, I'd rather die than wear that. You mess with me, you mess with my husband. I'm like, I'd rather die than wear that. Nice colors. Matches my dress. That would look nice on me. Very pale for you. la da we have a no rich Congratulations, Shrek. You're quite resilient. Fiona! Why don't you show the others back to the castle? Curses! 
Plan B, then. Go to the Poison Apple and hire the Ogre Killer. After a long day of saving fried chicken, stopping an inner city riot, and helping a wannabe princess get her shopping done, our hero headed back to the king's castle for a good night's sleep. Poor Shrek's evening would take a turn for the worse as he stumbled across Fiona's childhood diary. A devastated Shrek spent the night reading about Princess Fiona's dream of marrying a handsome prince with washboard abs, a chiseled chin, impeccable hygiene, uh, in short, the anti-Shrek. Tired of being green and feeling ugly, Shrek decided to take a walk in the woods as his friends tried to cheer him up. Now, Jimoka, today for Mercy from Puss in Boots. Feel my Caroline dance. Don't get on an ogre's bad side! I will chop you into salsa! Oh, my hoo's gonna be barking tonight! I'm gonna pin the tail on you! Hold it! One life down, eight to go. Stand still, I need to maim you. Huh, you're very soft. You mess with Bruce, okay. you get the boot. I am we much of no? Cannot live la vida loca forever. Anger. Ha! I lack the face of danger. Over smash! Don't get on an ogre's bad side.
Well, you've been a bad little kitty. Please, do not terminate me. I can take you to the Grande Fairy Madre. She is the answer to all your problems. I am we want you to know. And so, hoping to solve Shrek's problems, our gang moved forward to Fairy Godmother's house, which was known for two things, its pre-war colonial charm and the impossibility of getting inside without an appointment. The only appointments today are Miss Hood and a package from Jack and Jill's farm. Oh, I have an idea. We can intercept that package from the farm. Better yet, we can go to the farm and get the package. Sweet. Yeah! Shrek, do these pumpkins look a little funny to you? Donkey, they're just pumpkins.
Solved any problems. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Good day, Chirio. Aren't you a sorry lot? Oh, and so good to meet you. Yes, yes. Oh, well, the name's William Gruff, and I wonder if you layabouts might escort me across the bridge. Why, aren't you a bunch of fine fellows? You know what Ogre's spell backwards is? Ergo. 
Mm-hmm. It's deep, ain't it? Pitchfork in your eye! Machine. I'm a green, mean fighting machine. The morning to you. I can tell that you're wanting to get past, but the hinges are a wee bit rusty, don't you know? I'd be willing to part with some of my magic oil, but with the prices these days, it's not going to be cheap. Alrighty then, let's see what's behind door number two, shall we?
it ain't broke, break it! You're very soft. Oh, the troll on the bridge is going to kill me. I don't deserve to die for what I did, eating the troll's tin cans. Won't you help me? I'll always remember you guys in my prayers, I promise. I suppose if you think I...
down. Goat in trouble! Oh, yeah. Use came just in time! Looks like the elevator's stuck! An act of death-defying danger? Wet, narrow ledges that could lead to a horribly gruesome death? This sounds like a job for a true swashbuckling hero! Puss in Boots, come on down! You're the next contestant on Hero Time! Hero Time! and be a surfer or something. And so, our heroes found themselves overlooking miles of rolling farmland. For it seems the water Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch had magical properties. Despite Jack's broken crown and a possible skull fracture, he and Jill realized organic farming could make them a lot of gold. And they were right. Because really, who doesn't like a nice, juicy, all-natural salad the size of a dragon? A really fat dragon. I mean, seriously, look at those carrots. That's a big salad.
Nick Chumel. is Jack and Jill are on vacation. Yeah, but we are not so good. We are lazy and pig out all day. Can you help us with some chores? Only if one of those chores includes delivering the package to Fairy Godmother's house. You've got a deal. Just walk around the farm and look for one of us to get another chore. Jack's beanstalk. They thought it was a dandelion. I'm trying to grow another so Jack won't notice, but those filthy rats keep eating it. Can you help me? Oh, you've made me happy as a pig. But wait, I am a pig. I'm happy. Oh, 
so we can take them to market? That's good! You catch enough and I'll make you a Denver omelette!
get our water from a well at the top of Jack's Hill, but it's being guarded by giant tomatoes and these absolutely infernal pumpkins. It's very dangerous. Last week, my uncle Hans went up there and came back as a side of bacon. Will you help us? Oh, I am just tickled pink. The pinker. Hero, Hero time! time. your attention, didn't I? Listen, these cluxes are eating the entire harvest. You guys mind giving me a hand here? Great, but careful you don't kill them. I don't want a field full of poultry, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
mess with all of us! Hey, somebody get that man some point! Fun. Are you having fun? Cause I'm having fun. Don't get on an older bad side. Thank <laughs> you. 
to an end. Don't get on an ogre's bad side. We lost Jill's favorite sewing needle. We are playing find the needle in the haystack. Turns out it's really hard. Can you help us? Excellent. Now Jill might sew me a scarf for my chili chin chin. I think I get your point. Jack would have made chops out of us if you didn't help. Yeah! Now take this delivery to Fairy Godmother. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna stay behind and get some flour. Oh, donkey! <laughs> and so, Shrek finally got a chance to ask the Fairy Godmother for a happily ever after potion. But he didn't just ask her. He showed her why he deserved one. He showed her everything from gadgets to gadgets, a graph, a pie chart, and a pie to go with it. He showed her numbers, statistics, blind jabbits, and widgets. He even showed her a couple of midgets. But the fairy godmother told him ogres aren't allowed to have happily ever afters. And so, her answer was... Girl power rules! And so, Shrek finally got a chance to ask the fairy godmother for a happily ever after potion. But he didn't just ask her. He showed her why he deserved one. He showed her... No! And now, Ogre, you must go. Hey guys, I got my potion! Well, apparently ogres don't get happily ever afters. We should just go in there and take it. I know where the potions are. Follow me! You knocked my crest off! I'm bigger than you! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's an outtake. Time for the royal treatment. Godmother is one angry pixie and only Lil Red and her basket of apples can clip her wings. I think we all know what that means. Yep, it's hero time. Hero time. Good job, but she'll be back, you know. And usually the coming back is followed by the evil spell casting, which is only fun if you want to spend the rest of your life a toilet brush. You might want to get back and help Shrek. Donkey! 
wonderful. You're all back together. Now I can turn you all into rancid rump roast. I will defend us from this evil witch. Kitty, she'll take five of your lives. Let's get out of here! Okay, we are safe here. The cast sends us these things. Yeah, you couldn't sense a bowl of milk if you were sitting in it. Like a pixie. Alright, 
That's enough! Dent my metal armor. Talk about tuna hitter. Let's pop it. Have mercy! I'm really a small child! I'm a lousy knight! Donkey power hurts, don't it? Get you, Shrek! Ha ha ha! Have mercy! I'm really a small child! <laughs> You slay me! Oh, this is humiliating. Oh, God, no! I should have gone to the night school. Please don't dent my metal armor. Without having fun. Mommy! Ogre power! You knocked my crest off! Name is not punching. <laughs> Run!
Let's get out of here and make sure the potion works. Don't let this rest fool ya. I'm vicious. No one knew what the potion would do. After Donkey did a taste test, Shrek chugged the potion, hoping it contained a happily ever after for him and Fiona. Nothing happened, at least at first. But then, in the middle of the rainy night, something unexpected happened. Shrek and Donkey underwent a massive transformation. Shrek was as handsome as a prince, and Donkey his noble steed. Things seemed to be going great as the gang said thanks and goodbye to Lil Red for now. But... After Shrek drank her potion, Fairy Godmother knew her son, Prince Charming, had a handsome rival for Fiona's affection. So she made sure he was locked away in the deepest, darkest dungeon of a faraway prison where no escape was possible. What Fairy Godmother didn't count on was Shrek's friends finding out about his arrest through a concerned and extremely benevolent third party. So a jailbreak was planned, one that would most certainly test the fellowship of this thing. All right, listen up. The mice will sneak into the warden's office and get the keys to free the boy. But they're blind. <coughs> Pardon you. All right, all right. Well, let's not forget pork chop mm. brothers. We'll need their help.
Someone help! Let's go! 
Travis Tool, ya? Yeah?
Welcome to Larry's Discount House of Magic! We're slashing prices! Everything must go! Poor thing! No, you weren't wasting my time. Really? Knocking a sense into me.
Can anyone help me? I'm hungry for cheese! Oh, very brave. Woe is me, woe is me. Can someone help? Water, water, please help with some water. me, woe is me. Can someone help? Water. Water. Please help with some water. 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 Please help with some water. Someone help! Just hanging around. Come on, Wolf, no time to spare. We gotta get back to Far Far Away before the fat lady sings. How are we gonna get them out of there? Dressed for bed, but ready for action, Big Bad Wolf! What? I know, I know, it's hero time. <laughs> uh, yes, well, Wolf, your hero time is full of fabulous prizes and the key to free your pals. But in order to free your pals, you must survive the Staircase of Doom! Get ready for Hero Time! Hero Time! What am I doing here?
surfer or something. The only thing now standing between Shrek and Far Far Away was Mount Grimm, known amongst mountaineers as the heaping ginormous mound o rubble o death. Big Bad Wolf, claiming to have been a Big Bad Sherpa in his puppyhood, knew a shortcut. <laughs> Why go over a mountain when you can go through it? And remember, if Shrek and the bunch don't move fast, Prince Charming will kiss our unsuspecting Fiona, and Shrek will lose Fiona forever. Our special charge will get us through! Oh yeah, great job. Grumptious oh. unconsciousness. Thank you all. We've noticed you have a froggy infestation. Grumptious so harshness, yes! Overrun by Clan Froggy, under the control of the Fairy Godmother, they've captured Snow White, too! Grumptious so oh scrumptious. You gonna save Snowy and my dwarven brethren or not?
would be easier if I was a brownie. Show there. We're on our way to the other side of Mount Grimm. Are we close, by any chance? I dare say, sweet Nancy, not by a long shot. It only gets harder from here on out. Fuck 
get a nice old lady. Oh, thanks for saving me. N now hurry up and rescue Snow White. and whiskers free at last listen guys first things first we need to save snowy from the clutches of fairy godmother once you do it's smooth sailing to far far away
goshness, oh Satanus, she's alive! Yeah! Not so fast! Ooh. Fiona will marry Prince Charming, and you can all take a dirt nap. me if you can. Hero time! Sweet as snail eyeballs! Stopped me this time, but I'll get you, and you will be donkey too. Now on to far, far away, and my fair, fair Fiona. I'm a wolf. How cool is that? Handsome and the crew made their way to far, far away. They arrived to find Gingerbread Man brought a little friend. Well, okay, a big friend. Unbeknownst to the crew, Gingerbread Man had whipped up a monstrous cookie creation to help defeat Fairy Godmother. Unfortunately, his weapon of mass destruction turned out to be a mass of doughy devastation. Help! Knights are attacking the giant cookie but destroying the city! Only you can put out the fires. We'll take care of this. Great. I'm going on a porridge break. Meet me at the trucks when you're done.
Get that lunatic cookie monster out of my town! He's a huge fire code violation! Overtime for this. I'm a lousy god. Oh god, here we go.
million gold pieces if you want to pass. We don't have that kind of dough. There once was an ogre with a wish, who had all the grace of a fish. His motley crew will pay me my due, or all this will end with a... Squish? <laughs> hey, that rhymes. Wherever there lies a cookie, the big guy will strike. So toss cookies wherever. Now, how man? in distress 
an army of balloons, and a giant cookie man allergic to milk? It's gotta be hero time! Hero time! Things were about to get ugly. If Shrek and Fiona didn't kiss before midnight, they would be transformed back into ogre form. But what do you know? Those crazy kids decided to go for the ugly. Love can make you do some pretty strange things. <laughs> if you don't like awkward kissing scenes, then turn your head. Now that's more like it. You're beautiful. And you are truly handsome, Shrek. Oh no! Why? 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 Um, I think my carriage is double parked. You're not going anywhere, you incompetent little toad. Ribbit! Hey, Toot! You can't zap my father like that! I will never marry your son! Looks like we got our happily ever after without your help! You hit me a pixie!
you are brave to try and fight me. Guess you underestimated us! The only thing I underestimated were trolls and elves. If you want something evil done right, you have to do it your evil self. about this for your happily ever after. What's the matter? Not a troll fan. have my pepper spray on me. Don't get on an older bad side. Yeah! 
about time we kick this dog to the curb. Or to the tree. Whatever. That's it. I'm sending you straight to the glue factory. Wait, I wasn't ready yet. What do you know? I can be beaten. I'm gonna need a whole box of tissue! <sighs> no first made the world go round. Well, Shrek and Fiona got their happily ever after, after all. Now put down the controller and go outside to play. We're done. Really. It's over. That is all, uh, folks. <laughs>